Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at a few ways that we can clean up the project panel. All right, once you start bringing in a bunch of clips and some people have hundreds if not thousands of clips in the project panel, it can get a little bit hard to sort things in there. But there's a very powerful tool in metadata. Now, before you, th you think metadata is not for you, it's not always about more data. Metadata can always be about less data. And that's what I love. Premiere Pro gives you a ton of these different categories and very few people that aren't in broadcast, we don't need them. So why don't we turn them off? Even better, why don't we save certain settings so we can reuse them over and over again? Let's have a look at how busy my project panel is and then we'll clean it up. All right, so I'm in the Essentials workspace over here. My project panel is here, but wherever it is, it's the same idea. There's a lot of information and there's also the scroll bar, but if we wanna get this bigger, we can double click on the name and open it up. Now there's a lot of these categories, frame rate, media start, end, duration, in, out, all of these. And if you use all of them, great but I don't, so I like to, to get rid of all the things that I don't need. And you do that in this little Hamburg menu, also called the flyout menu. Click right here, down to the bottom, metadata display. And here we have different sections. This is all the Premiere Pro metadata. And whenever you see a little line in here, that means that not everything is selected in that category or in that section. If I open it up, I'll see it all. This is metadata that you can customize. You can add your own. I've got a tutorial that I'll put in the uh, um, uh, description about using tags like you would in Final Cut Pro. And if I open this up, you'll see things like the label. Well, that's important. Um, frame rate, it is important to me, but not the media and start and end the media duration, or the video in and out point, or the video duration. Subclips, I don't use a lot of subclips, so I'm going to turn these off. Video info and audio info, I'll leave those on. I like to use video usage and audio usage. This is really great for seeing if you've used something already. Maybe you've got a bunch of B-roll or music and you're not sure, have I used this yet? This will show us if we have. Keep going in here. Uh, I don't use tapes anymore. Not description and definitely not a log note is something I don't use. Um, my status is, I know my stuff is online. Don't need scene, don't need shot. I uh, don't need good and hide. And right now I'm not using transcription. I mean, look at all the stuff in here. I'm gonna turn this off. And when I click okay, watch the panel behind. Boom, look at that. Now I've got the name of the clip, the frame rate, video info, what is the size, audio info down here, and that's all of the video usage. And there's the audio usage. Oh, I left shot in here, but I probably turned that off. This is great, and if I didn't have to stop and explain, how fast did I turn all of that other stuff off? Pretty darn quick. Now, you can save these and reuse them. That's the best part. And we'll go back to metadata display. And over on the right, you can save the settings. And I've already saved some in here. The default isn't part of it. It's just that when I was turning things on and off so many times, I thought I better get, have the ability to go back to the default just so I can start with what you normally see. So let's go to my setting, colon, I click OK, and there it is. Um, video codec, audio usage, video usage, shot is gone now, video and audio info, label and the name. Let's go to another one. Comments, click OK. And this is really great because all I wanted to have in here were the comments and whether something was good or bad. This is fantastic for sorting media. If you're going through, somebody else wrote the comments in here, or maybe you did to remind yourself, and you quickly want to jump through the comments and then use those comments to select whether something is good or not, and you're going to use it. Let's keep going. 
I saved another one, which is for text workflows. Click OK. And you can see it says no dialogue, not transcribed, no dialogue. These are, are there's no audio in these um, stock clips, but there is down here in this interview, and you can see it is completed. The sequence has a subtitle, and it also has a caption end and start, and content analysis if uh, I was using that. So now when I go back to that interview, you can see there's all the, the captions that were created automatically for me based on the text transcription. And you can see right here, look, there's a comment and there's the description and there's my um, status right here. Whereas if I went back to the default, I'm gonna have to fish all the way through here to try to find some of this stuff and comments isn't even part of the default, so I don't even get to see that. So it just makes it so much easier for me to organize everything inside here. And you can share these by going to your Documents folder on both Mac and Windows, go to the Adobe folder, Premiere Pro, the latest version, uh, your profile, in settings, no, nope, in, in metadata display preferences, and there they are, and you can copy those to a different machine and they'll be available. So let's go back and look at, at even more uh, of these categories and uh, metadata things. So this is just the stuff in the Premiere Pro metadata, but Adobe's metadata is for all Adobe applications, for Photoshop, for Acrobat. Uh, so there's more in here for things like an author, publisher, basic metadata, creation date, rights management. Now this is not going to automatically turn on, but you could use this just to remind yourself if you've got something cleared in here, you could turn that one on and each checkbox would show for that uh, uh, clip. Media management. And then again, you could save this as another uh, setting over here on the right. So lots and lots and lots, and you can also create a new property. So this is how I made tags. You can create a new property. It's either a number or text or a Boolean, yes or no, and save that again as a new property. Wow, so great to be able to get organized so quickly in that busy project panel that when you open it up and, and maybe you haven't even been looking in there because it's been so busy. So remember, metadata isn't about more data. It's, it, it isn't just about more data. A lot of times it's about filtering that data down to just what you want. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop, donate once or monthly, and, oh yeah, and next week I'm going to show you how we can save uh, preview settings, view settings in the project panel, that we can ha even have keyboard shortcuts to cycle through these very quickly. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to show you you've got already a ton of organizational tools already in Adobe Premiere Pro.